Gracias. Hey, good evening, David. Hey, teacher. I will be here, but I will stay in the same way last year because my eye is still hard. I understand. Don't worry. Are you taking any pills or any medicine? Yes, I am putting some drops and some medicine for the hypertension. That is the, the name. Yes, that is the problem. Hypertension? Yes. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Oh yes. my God. Okay. Well, I hope you get well soon. Sorry. I hope you get better soon. Thank you, teacher. Don't worry.
Hello, good evening, Ilya. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are things going tonight? Well, teacher. Yeah. And what about you? How was your day? It was very interesting, actually. I finished work at 12.30 and then uh, we had lunch with the kids and then um, my oldest son, uh, eldest son, I shall say, uh, he felt a little pain on the back of his head, you know, he has a little swollen part for some reason. And he said that every time he opened his eyes too much, it hurt. So I took him to the east and and it, it was going to take too long, you know. I wouldn't I wouldn't be here if I would have stayed with him. So after an hour, I decided to better make an appointment. And they gave him an appointment for July 4th. So we came back. He took a pill. It still hurts a little bit, he said. But I think it's too much watching the the cell phone, the laptop, because he's on virtual classes and he, he wears glasses, you know, so mm. that may be the problem. And it, this pain started yesterday, but the thing is that, well, we came back, uh, we had some coffee and I uh, organized the garage because it was like a workshop, you know, a repair shop for cars. It was an engine on the side, a whole bunch of things. And I already have the stands, the the shelves where I where I was supposed to organize everything. So I organized everything. I still can't believe I finished organizing this. It was a whole mess. I mean, you you have no idea. My garage is, has an office space for two cars, but man, it was one of the spaces was occupied. <sighs> so, but I was able to make it. I I still can't believe it. And. Okay. Tomorrow is Sunday. What about you? What did you do today? Sunday? Tomorrow is Sunday? I know. For you? Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. I hate well, it. my day. Um, I don't know. Kind of busy. Well, this week is uh, like a different week. We have the, well, our president, regional president is visiting us. So it's the bus. So my boss, my boss, boss. So yeah, I have to do like a lot of things, you know. Mm. And I'm a little nervous. At when Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on Thursday, yeah, Thursday we had a, a meeting the whole day. So I had to prepare a, a, a couple of things with my boss. I have to prepare. Um, I have to organize the the lunch and all that stuff that assistants do. You know, and but I like it because uh, I when I have a lot of things to do, I don't feel the time. I don't feel the day like yesterday, for example. Yesterday was like crazy, 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 crazy day. And maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after tomorrow until Friday. But but I like it. I like I like what I do. I love my job and I really enjoy what I do. That's the most important part. If you like what you do, then you're you're all set. It's not a job; it's a hobby. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tired, but I enjoy it. How long have you been working on that company? Uh, almost four years. Four years, okay. Almost four years, oh. and in this position, I I have a year and a half. Mm -hmm. That's good. See, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Albert Einstein used to say that if you don't feel the time passing by when you're doing something, it's because you really enjoy doing that. He said that to his son, to one of his sons. Did you know that one of Albert Einstein's uh, son went crazy? No. Because he read a physics book and he memorized it. So too much information on the brain he couldn't yeah. stop he couldn't stop talking about the book i guess or something uh, there's a book i love and uh, which is the world as i see it 
the world as I see it. That's uh, like Albert Einstein's biography from a third person point of view. You know, it's, it's very interesting to understand him, how he used to think. I'm on the bus right now. Who's on the bus? Who's on the bus? Oh, Fernando's on the bus. Okay. Okay, Fernando. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining our meeting. Uh, we're talking about famous characters, <laughs> like Ileana, for example. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm famous on TikTok. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's a tr that's that. Do you feel that necessity of being famous on on social networks? In the past, maybe. <laughs> really? Yeah, but maybe when I was my early 20s what? but now but now no. La last year Eliana? no i have to <laughs> i know i know i look younger <laughs> me not anymore i used to play with my students you know like okay guess my age what's my age and, and everybody was like nah, you're like 28 or 30 something i was like yeah i don't do that anymore that was my first impression about my first impression about you. Nah, really. You look younger than than you are. Yep. Actually, that's because I never get angry. You know, that's well lately. I'm I'm becoming a little bit. I don't know, grumpy, uh -huh. a little bit grumpy sometimes, yeah. and that's parenting parenting life. You have no kids, right, Elena? No, the kids. Oh my God. Stay like that. Yeah. You know, it's it's I plan to do that. <laughs> it sounds cruel from me, but nah. I love them. I love them, but man, it's so difficult. Yeah, I, I like kids, but yeah, I think that idea twice. You know. <laughs> you think about it twice. Yeah, yeah, I think about that twice. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll continue this topic in a later way. Okay, guys, uh, let's start the class. We have, oh my God, we have almost full house. Great job. Okay, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. I got you. Present teacher. Thank you. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. He's on the bus. It's okay, Fernando. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Presentation. Thank you. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Of course. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> Jose no, Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present the church. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. Not here yet. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present the church. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Hey, good. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Oh my God, we have full house except for Frank, who's still in the States, I guess. Hopefully he brings us something, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, who remembers yesterday topic, the last thing we were talking about? Whole module we have been talking about social barriers. Uh, huh. uh yeah yesterday we talked about uh, scaling barriers. barriers i send you the presentation uh, about scaling barriers that you can face when you have a social entrepreneurship or a social um company and lastly we talked about external barriers and internal barriers but we didn't cover that in the end there were just a few missing bullet points but the most important part was the types of ecosystem scaling barriers 
and hold on there we go okay why do i have this twice oh i got i remember now okay so tonight is a very we have a very similar topic but you will be in charge and this is on page 26 of your book of your students book so i need you here i repeat i need you here <laughs> so that's I'm going to start the class just by concluding yesterday's presentation. And I want to hear your opinion about this whole thing, you know, if you have understood something so you can share it with us. Um, so we talked about the barriers to entry uh, as a network. You remember what we were talking about? It, it's not called a network. Uh, hmm. An ecosystem. That That's indeed an ecosystem. It's like a network a group of companies that you can be part of. And then um, what are the barriers involved on in getting into this network, into this uh, ecosystem, right? So we talked about it. Um, and there were many things involved. Part of them was the law, you know, how law doesn't benefit the entrepreneurs most part of the times. Now, we this is the last thing we talked about really quick, internal barriers to scaling ecosystem. Organizational culture, culture that is resistant to change can slow down efforts to scale an ecosystem. And at this point of advanced six, you're almost done with the, with the program, with the course. I hope you have learned many things, but this, part of the course, these advanced modules from three to six, three, four, five, six. If you haven't noticed yet, I hope you have, of course, I know you have. It's just about thinking, brainstorming, discussing, understanding uh, complex terms and complex topics. Now, in general, do you think this has been difficult? This, has this been like, a challenge for you to talk about this sort of social co companies? In my case, it's not, it's something new. Uh, even I haven't, uh, it, it here in, in these classes is the first time I'm talking like in the admin side because these classes are based on that, right? for you to lead there, for you to admin. And also, uh, I don't remember the name in English right now. We made a photo, photo in Spanish. <laughs> oh, uh-huh, SWOT analysis. Uh, yeah, that thing. And so it it's uh, like breaking my mind because you need to think about these things that you usually face in Spanish but now you need to apply them in English and they are totally different because at the same time you learn, um, for example, what we're talking about right now, the social entrepreneurship. We don't have that that uh, type of uh, entrepreneurship here in, in our country. So it's something new that in my case, I'm learning. I didn't know it didn't exist. Well... Sorry. Something just to let me throw the rock here. After 10 years involved on this um on this program, starting from scratch, you know, I have taught every single model. I can tell you with my feet on the ground, whoever thought about the program, whoever designed the program topics was trying to do something incredible because this this specific module is designed to make students um, think about starting up their own thing with the purpose of helping society that's why this whole module talks about social companies so and social entrepreneurships um, ways of starting up your own business without investing money 
because in the end, that's the most difficult part, right? Nobody has like $10,000 to invest in a startup or pulseria or whatever, right? So there are ways of starting businesses without money. It's more difficult, but the easiest way, the easiest way is what we're studying, uh, getting um, some, um, how do you call this? Getting funds from people in, interested in investing on helping others. You can do that through many ways as, as we have seen, but going back to this topic, the culture is something so difficult to change, especially in a country. Um, I was at El Seguro Social today, as I told you, right? And I, I always do this. I have never changed my mind. I have to respect others. But, and you have been there too, there's a huge line for the appointment window, you know. And um, there's people always, how do you say colars en la línea? There's a way to say that. I can't remember right now, but, you know, jumping ahead, I don't know. I hate that. So I, I saw the line. So I went on the queue. That's the word. I went on the queue. And I went to the end of the line. Waited for my turn just to ask if I could make an appointment for my kid. And the lady was very nice because she saw me that I didn't just jump into the window and say, hey, I'm sorry. Hello. I just have a question for you. I hate that. So many others, when I came back with my kid, because he was in the ER in the emergency room, we didn't step up front. We waited our turn. And everybody was like, no, 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 you go. You already went in, you know, you already did the line. So you should go up front and talk to the lady. But I was like, no, things have changed, I said. In this country, <laughs> we better respect the order. Everybody was like, yeah, that's true. Do you agree with that? Has, has things changed on this country? Somehow? Yeah, how? Give me an example. Nowadays, there's people who wait in line for taking the bus. That didn't happen years ago. Like respecting others on the line to go in the bus? Yeah, I have seen in some parts of San Salvador and also in some bus stops that people wait in line. I actually do a line when they are waiting for the bus. And that's true. Sometimes I go and pick up my kids by bus, you know, at Salvador del Mundo, and we have to ride the 46C. And it's a crazy thing to do. But nowadays, they go like, hey, this guy goes with three kids. I mean, let him go. <laughs> that's very funny. But they do. I mean, we all do. That's better. Throwing garbage on the streets. I haven't seen anybody doing that. Remember that there is a law that there is a fee for a due. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to name it. Fee a law. Yes, there is a law, but a law. <laughs> and yes, there is an infra if you commit an infraction, there is a ticket. ticket. There's mm -hmm. there's a fine. Fine. Okay. There's a fine for throwing garbage on the street. It's true. Uh, allow me just a minute, please. I'm sorry. Okay. So going back to the point, cultural changes are not easy, but you need inspiration to make them come through. Think about it. Inspiring words, somebody giving the example. I was watching videos of this woman going running for president in Venezuela. I'm going politically in some way, but I don't want to go too much in details, but have you seen that? Putting them in I think so, but I, I, I 
I can't believe what she has done. She talked directly to Maduro. Then she was hit by um, a riot of people that was in favor of Maduro. And then she was on the street and police or officers of, of the government were about to hit her. And she started yelling at them. Don't you see how you live? And she convinced the soldiers. That was Those were soldiers, actually. She convinced them to turn things around. And they did. They stopped trying to stop her and helped her going forward. I just couldn't believe it. Now, you didn't have to go through all that hell, you know, of facing authorities in that way. My God, but hopefully they make it. I mean, Venezuela is really in very bad conditions, especially their currency, right? Okay, so cultural changes. Process inefficiencies. Inefficient processes can create bottlenecks that make it difficult to scale an ecosystem. Um, what are we talking about here? Processes, continuing with getting into an ecosystem, scaling an ecosystem, what do you think? Hmm. Okay. Really quick. Do you have us uh, going back to the point? You have a little enterprise. You go into a group of enterprises with your social network idea, social company idea, and um, scaling whether it is internally or as a ecosystem itself there are processes that you need to follow uh, you cannot jump through the rules you know they already have established on growing it's like if you found um, found it you know if you found a, a society and you put 20 percent of the capital you cannot receive 50 percent of the gainings at the end of the year right of the earnings at the end of the year, right? That doesn't make sense. If you put 20% of the capital, you get a 20%, right? That kind of rules, okay? It's not easy to scale. Limited resources, resources such as capital, talent, and technology can be scarce and may restrict the speed and scale at which an ecosystem can grow. Again, as I was saying at the beginning, not having enough money to do things is very difficult. And I wanted to reach this point. External barriers to scaling ecosystems. Oh, there was an error uploading this image. Okay. Anyways, competition. A competitive market can make it difficult for an ecosystem to, to differentiate itself and gain market share. We talked about this before. A competitive market, talking about what you're selling versus what there's on the market already. What would you rather buy? A leather, is it leather or leather? No, leather, a leather wallet or purse, leather or purse. Um, for men, let's say, oh my God, a Calvin Klein leather wallet, okay? Which is an offer with a 50% discount. Would you buy that one or a Kelvin Klein? <laughs> Listen, a Kelvin Klein at the marketplace, you know, for $10. It is leather as well, but it's an imitation. And in the case of women, women, would you buy a Michael Kors original purse made of leather or an imitation made in your country, you know, with somebody's hands? Is not Michael, it's Michel Kors, Salvadorian brand, okay? What would you buy? They're both at the same price. <laughs> Ileana doesn't want to say it. I'm like, oh, I don't know, that's a difficult decision. Come on, be honest. Or I want the original one. Right? That's the logical thing. I mean, it's a competitive market. In our country, is like a trend, a cultural trend, I should say, to, to copy other brands. 
in in fact there in China there's a a company selling sneakers Nike sneakers that are better quality than the original can you believe that have you heard of it no i i uh teacher i remember uh, um when i watch tvs well last year uh, i don't know if you remember this the well this company lego mm -hmm. lego they make it with many these uh, blocks blocks and construct a uh, cars a uh, airplane and different uh, mm -hmm. things well, and in this interview in CNN, CNN, uh, the CEO uh, was uh, interviewed, and they sh and showed um, these uh, those those uh, uh, toys, pieces. toys, pieces. yes, and and he has to choice what is the Jeez. imitation. In what is uh, the real, and and he said very sure about it. This is a uh, or this is real. When he the interviewer uh, say no no, is this imitation? Is is very a... similar characteristics? Everything uh, is some... even be better built. Better yes yes. Wow. <laughs> It, it was so funny, but it's, it's I don't know. There is it's, um there are no copyrights. It's it's, it's, it's dangerous. There it's are copyrights, but there... they, they, uh, yes, they, yes. But they change. Uh, they uh, there are different names of this company or their products. Mm -hmm. But the uh, the original idea is not is not for from China. But yeah. they they restrain and and they make or make and produce different uh, things or products uh, with similar characteristics from the original. And that happens and... everywhere, everywhere. I think every country is involved on on pirate activities. Just not I right. remember some, well, maybe 16 years ago or almost 20, when mm -hmm. you, when you, you, and you hear uh, about a product from China, eh, maybe every, every, every person eh, think it doesn't work. It's from China, it doesn't work, but now it's different. Is the, is better than the original. <laughs> it happens a lot it's true but chinese are good on what they do and, and there's a name for that i i that is the process of recycling an idea but making it better i can remember it was what was that it, it's um xyz i think xyz x is to imitate y to make it as good as Mm -hmm. is to make it better. Yeah. But it's a, uh, there, there's another way. Kaizen, I can remember. I started that on Kaisen. Kaisen, right? I don't know if you can, if you, it's a Japanese. It's, it's a Japanese. Um, it's a methodology philosophy. about philosophy. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, about if you can do and prove um improve your everything uh, it's something like that is is it's a philosophy you can improve every day in everything aspect you, that aspect mm -hmm. you can do that's part of the um, process that I love the most on engineering and that's re-engineering re-engineering I mean because it applies for everything in your life who's an engineer here? Gracias, you are an engineer, yeah. right? Iliana? When you use a uh, fish, it's an example, like a fish. I don't know if you remember. That. Oh my God, yeah, the fish diagram. Do you remember, Gracia? That's another way of brainstorming. Wow, man, I just got a flashback. 
and it works. <laughs> it works. Those those ideas work. Okay, so we got how the market can be very competitive. Um, infrastructure, lack of quality infrastructure, whether physical or digital, can put a strain on the ability to scale an ecosystem. Nowadays, it's very um, common to talk about a uh, digital space and copyrights are everywhere. I'm afraid of these images right now, but anyways, it, it was the AI presentation and I like it. I'm falling in love with this thing. I just like it a lot, but a bad design can cause um, a strain, can put a strain on on scaling. And it's because there's so much competition going back to the market being so crowded. English academies online, teachers on TikTok, oh my God, it, there's a lot, you know, and they're very good, they're very good. What I'm surprised is, and I'll be totally honest with you, sometimes the algorithm of TikTok gives me videos of teaching, you know, because I'm a teacher. So somehow TikTok knows that I'm a teacher. I don't know how. <laughs> <But anyways. laughs> That's really weird. And sometimes I get scared because I just talked about a topic with my wife or with someone. And man, I open TikTok and boom. It's not normal. What's going on here, right? It's like the phone is always listening, you know. Anyways, so, but I have seen some teachers like teaching in Spanish a lot, not good pronunciation, good grammar knowledge, but the way they explain things is too difficult for the students. But still, on their live classes, they get over a thousand people at the same time. And I'm like, What's going on here, right? I don't know. I want to get to know more about that. That's not normal. So it all depends on how you design your infrastructure. And in our era, on this era right now, it's all digital. You better include artificial intelligence and in everything. I'm getting to understand that. Um, legal and regulatory environment. Complex legal and regulatory environments can create obstacles to scaling an ecosystem. Again, in El Salvador, this is very common. You have places that are already set on our country. Just, I don't know why did I use the word places, but companies, a conglomerate of companies that are already built and set here. What will happen if a new company emerged? a new ecosystem, a new network of companies is emerging and tries to, for example, import food to El Salvador. What's the first thing that could happen? What do you think? Depending on what type of food. I mean, if you are talking about canned food or uh, basic uh, grains, all kinds of food, exactly. Oil, rice, spaghetti, you know, the basic stuff, uh, grains, even sugar, you know, if you try to no, import you, you it. You cannot import sugar, it's too expensive. <laughs> that's my point. Okay, that's my point. But my point is is this, for example, not mentioning names, but you know the companies that provide internet in El Salvador, right? There's just two. It's a monopoly, basically, or has been a monopoly of, of, up, up until now. Now is a trend that there are more companies coming. Have you seen that? And what's going on? Is that is there anybody stopping them from getting into the market? No. Yes, legal and regulatory environment. There are many regulations to hook into a market that already has everything set. If your idea is not innovative, if you're just going to compete against the sharks that are already swimming on the pool, 
is more difficult. That's my whole point. So if you have a new company bringing all of this food, you know, and the products that are already on the market by a famous company, I don't know the name, whoever imports Ina, say 30 salt and all these things. I, there's a name for them, but I'm not going to say the name. You shouldn't say it as well. <laughs> we can go to jail. So <laughs> that's, that's really difficult, you know, a difficult market. And finally, so uh, how do you overcome ecosystem scaling barriers? And I'm going to close with this because, and pay attention because you're about to work on this as groups. Okay. Uh, help me. Uh, Steve, you're very participative tonight. So go with innovative business models. Okay. <clears throat> the first one. Innovative business models. Business models that leverage technological advancements and new market trends can help overcome barriers to scaling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Partnerships and alliances. Alliances. Collaborating, collaborating with other ecosystem members can help overcome challenges and scale more quickly. Okay, let's stick, let's stick with this, those two. Uh, I need some help here, innovative business models. What do you understand by this topic? Business models that leverage technological advancements and new market trends can help overcome barriers to scaling. That's easy. Someone? Maybe uh, innovate business models. There are many kind of different bis business models. Uh, if you want to use technology or like uh, social media, mm -hmm. is there, maybe it's a, it's a no, maybe it's a good idea to promote and show your your product, your services, and it's necessary what kind of this kind, this, this specific social, uh, social media one to use. You want to use to, in order to impact uh, impact this a uh, more market or the targeted market. The, the target. targeted market. Good job. Yes. Yeah. Because if I want to sell uh, oil changes or uh, repair, car repairs, you know. I, I wouldn't go to Instagram to do that, right? Yes, you can use Instagram. No, maybe that's just for uh, that's just for teenagers. Yes. Okay, so I should go to Facebook because there's more. Older people. Say, <laughs> I was about to say elderly people. <laughs> Nobody uses Facebook nowadays. You know, it's like. <laughs> Only, only we that we, we're, we're over for or, or Instagram, a, a young, younger <laughs> use. Mm, yes. You know what? TikTok is more addictive, addictive to um, millennials. Yes. Because there was a study that proved that we are addictive or we became addictive with the development of the internet. Uh, millennials we became addictive to um, learning through videos, short videos. Short your, videos, yes. Your brain becomes addictive to those things really quick. Okay, good job. Talking about this point, I have always had an idea, and if you want to steal it from me, it's okay because it's very difficult to make it come true. And I'm going to start with women here. Uh, Gracia, Ileana, you have a car, right? Do you? Yeah, just not not your head. Okay, how do you do with the oil changes if you have to change the battery or just give maintenance to the car? How? How? What do you just the, go to the just yeah go to the to the mechanic the mm -hmm. workshop to to a mechanic? Which mechanic do you have? One mechanic? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever felt that you should get other quotes or someone who knows more than this person? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's my idea. What about having a website where you can 
it's like um, this this network weight is not uh, in drive. In drive, I think the difference between in drive and Uber or Uber is that you can offer the driver the fee, right? You can negotiate. Yeah. That's the difference. What if you could come up with a platform where you could go like, okay, Eliana, I I need an oil change for my two, 2021 uh, Kia, I don't know what, my truck. And you just put that post and just start receiving offers, offers and offers. But these workshops are already rated by other consumers. Is it my point? So based on the ratings, based on the reviews of other of other users, you could take a decision. And not only that, you know, only only um, workshops on a ra radio of I don't know a hundred kilometers. That's too much. I don't know uh, twenty kilometers. They could reply to your request. You see, so it's. That that sounds good, right? I mean, you could go like, okay, I never been to this workshop, and they're very good rated. And even though they will charge me ten dollars more than this guy, they're they're more professionals. Then you try and you try, and you can give your rating. I mean, there's a lot to think about it, but it's difficult <laughs> because mechanics they just don't want to mess with this. We haven't reached that level of. Uh, social networks marketing they don't want to know about it their business model they think they're good it's good the way it is okay <laughs> so it's a difficult market i'm telling you because i tried to conduct that experiment i tried with 10 different workshops and out of 10 only three were you know only three agree to go on the experiment well, the other seven were like, nah, I have my customers already. Okay. So that's that's important. Okay. Second bullet point, partnership and alliances. Collaborating with other ecosystem members can help overcome challenges and scale more quickly. What do you think? Going back to that point, someone? Think out of the box. If an ecosystem is a network of companies with the same or a very similar idea or approach to their on their vision or mission, but different products, can you collaborate? Uh, in in Europe, there is a circular economy system where, uh, let's say, a company has a by product of um, let's say plastics mm -hmm. and then they give this byproduct to another company which then uses it as a, a, a primary um ma materia prima a primary uh, market no materia prima oh, oh material. Raw, raw, material. raw material yeah raw material for producing this and then this other company has a byproduct which will give them like let's say oil to another company and in the end they all have um, a circular economy where there are no wastes but just byproducts no wastes uh-huh there are no waste there's no waste i'm sorry there is no waste uncountables there's no waste that that sounds like a great idea i remember when i was studying um administration they gave us this module. They said that the best idea that some Japanese had was building a computer on, building computers on a ship. So they went, 
this this I don't know if this is true, but they went on a ship through the borders of China, you know, Japan and all that area. They were stopping on each port, buying the plastics, the case, buying the motherboard somewhere else, buying the memories. I mean, just all the parts, and they were putting apart, they were putting together everything on the ship. They reduced costs tremendously. And they end up buying, building an awesome computer, selling it on the last point. <laughs> it was like, what? That's collaboration. No, that's just another way of seeing things. But that's the the idea that that Gracia is this like implementing right now. If I'm selling pizzas, but I don't have beverage just to sell, and you do, we should partnership, right? Right, we should work together and just sell the, the beverages, and then Ileana goes like, "Hey, I sell fries. Why don't you sell fries with your pizza? Mm. Eh, let's give it a try. Why not? Let's sell marshmallows." Okay, <laughs> what is that? It's bread. Okay, anyways, so you got me my, my idea, right? Okay, next, strong marketing and branding. Someone. Okay. <laughs> okay. A strong marketing and branding. Developing a strong brand and marketing strategy can help break through barriers to entry and drive. Entry. Entry and drive. Drive. And drive, drive demand. demand. In your own words. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If you do a. Uh, a good marketing strategy because you know the market that you want to to conquer. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have that that strategy, you have a, a, like a better chance to succeed. Simple as that. True. And drive demand, you know, like because that's your goal. Drive demand. Attract more customers that will demand your product so your demand is higher than your offers than your set at this point you understand these terms okay and lastly data driven data driven decision making continue yes please data driven decision making using data to drive to drive decision to drive, to drive. Using data to drive decision-making and operational efficiency can help overcome inefficiencies and improve scal scalability. Scalability, uh-huh. Data to drive decisions. Decision-making, I'm sorry. Data to drive mm -hmm. decision-making. This is what we were talking about yesterday. You listen to your customers, right? What are they talking about? Oh, they say we're we're good. I mean, but we're not great. No, great is the competitors. <gasps> oh my God! Why? Why? Oh, because their bottle is pink, and ours is blue. Oh, okay. So let's make pink and blue bottles. <laughs> okay, that's the idea. Good job, guys. And that's basically it. Uh, conclusions, business ecosystems are powerful, of course, more capital, more hands on the job with the same vision, that's a monster, it could become a monster, barriers to entry and scaling exist, of course, we have seen uh, by collaborating, oh, I'm sorry, understanding these barriers is key to successful scaling, successfully scaling and sustainable growth. Um, understand these barriers which we have studied and overcome barriers with strategic planning that's the only way strategic planning uh, planning is key in every aspect of your company uh, it could be on sales even on the inventory and, and that's that's the soul of your company if you're selling products um, if you have an efficient inventory management then you're set and remember that the inventory demand comes from the sales force. 
if Salesforce is working fine and sending you the, how do you say project, projectations? I was, I was about to say projectations. Oh my God. I, I missed that word. Their forecast. Forecast. Is that forecast, right? Yeah, their forecast, their sales. I want to say pro, pro. Why do I have this word in my mouth? Mm, in the Spanish, I'm trying to remember it and I forgot it. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a part of the sales job, you know, to um, pronostico, right? Yeah, their sales pronosticos. Oh my God, the forecast definitely is forecast. So if you got that, you have good inventory and good rotation of inventory, then you're all set. I guess at this point you understand all of these terms. It's your turn to put hands on the job. Um, <clears throat> following our lesson plan for tonight, we have to move on on page 26. Let me get this straight. There it is. Okay. So we're in unit three now, and we have to do something as team, uh, a group work. And I, I don't want to lose that idea that I gave you at the beginning, right? Whoever made up these topics on the program on the English para el trabajo really thought about um, being this your your goal from the whole program to build up your own thing. But first, let's scale up your idea as group. We need to go online and choose a successful social business that has a scale. It's not an easy task. So if you can't find um, a successful business idea, made it up. Um, you're free to make up things. And that will be more interesting for me, to be honest with you, to see your creativity, which is very important on this language, being creative. <laughs> Prepare a presentation that addresses the following. The summary of the story of the business early days and evolution. I think we got some ideas. Pan Lilian? Could be one of them, right? I don't know. Can you think about any other? We have been mentioning some Salvadorian companies that has recently scaled. Pollo, pollo. I said pollo. Uh, Don pollo. Don pollo. Don pollo, right? Pollo bonanza. Po How are they doing? Don't they have still uh, just one branch in downtown? Have they scale? I don't know. <laughs> so, let's find no. out. They... Bam Bam. Bam Bam. Oh my God. Bam Bam just, just scale. During the last two years, they scaled tremendously. I had a, a student on this course. And she was very nice. Yeah. Wow. That's a good story. Okay. So you got the idea. We're going to be three groups. Let's see. Um, the variables, variables that the founder or founders considered to decide on the appropriate time and pace and pace to scale the business. Keep an eye on that. Mind that we haven't talked about the pace on scaling. Do you understand that word? P-A-C-E? What does that sound like, Steve? There's a synonym. It's the sound like. It's the sound like. Sound like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the word? That's the word, a synonym for pace. Step? No, rhythm. Rhythm, rhythm, the rhythm of the night. The rhythm of the night. The rhythm. That's, right. <gasps> That's what it says, teacher. It doesn't say rebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, it doesn't say rebook. <laughs> Good. So, rhythm, the pace in which you grow, the pace in which you work. What's your pace? Follow the pace. Set the pace. 
listen, say, set the pace. Your boss will tell you, hey, set the pace. Marca el paso, set the pace. Okay, marca el paso. Okay, it's like, give us the example. What rhythm should we follow? So we're gonna mimic you, okay? Okay, is there any social business or project in your city that has been scaled? In our city, we already gave some examples. Can you establish some similarities in the scaling process between the social business you choose, you chose, and the social project in your city? Hmm. So we, they're asking us to compare two things. Um, a regular business, let's say you compare La Ban Ban, okay, Ban Ban company with a social project, a social project, how did it scale? Hmm, I'm trying to think about a social project here in New York, Mexicanos. Can't think about any right now, but if you have one, that will be great. So we can do the comparison. There's just one difference, government aid or not. Right. Okay. So, and then we have this um, little schema here: social business mission, social scaling, a social business. When did scaling happen? Beneficiaries, barriers to scale. What barriers may have they found? Um, it all depends on the niche of market. This these companies that you're going to study uh, were aiming to. If you're talking about bread, there's. Do you think there's enough? There's enough bakeries in town, in town. Yeah. What about Chinese restaurants? Some. What about people selling tortas, mexicanas? There's never enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's go. Please work together um, and try to do this job. Do you have any questions about the instructions on page 26? You have to choose uh, any social business. Any. If you find one, yes. But the whole point of this is how they scaled Please. their story, you know, how where their beginnings and how did they start scaling. If you find information on why did they decide to scale, it'll be great. Okay. okay. How are they doing at this point? This is not easy. Okay. So we're just going to be three groups. I'm expecting everybody to collaborate. I know some of your classmates, most classmates tonight have their camera off, which is not going to help, but I hope them to uh collaborate okay if not you can evoke me invocar me okay just you know how to do that right when you're in a break room and i will show up there <laughs> yeah, exactly okay let's go Ok, guys, eh, chicos, por favor, únanse a su grupo para que puedan colaborar con ellos. Eh, está solo Luis Albert Steve. Vamos, chicos, únanse a su grupo, por favor, para poder colaborar con sus compañeros. Josemín, Jarvin, Fernando, Wendy, and Francisco. Let's go.
Okay, Fernando, who's just mean if you can join with Steve because he's alone. Okay. Bang bang is a good option because started from from very beginning in Santa Ana. I there was only a a store. And they were spreading over the city of Santa Ana. And now I see there are many, <coughs> many of, but uh, I don't know dealers. I don't know how to say that. Mm -hmm. Bambang is a good option. I have uh, an information here. This is in Spanish, but. Go ahead. So Talk about uh, like the story and when they like evolve or transform their your business. That was in twenty in the in the twenty thirteen. They they work with like kind of program that it calls Sabios y Expertos. Besides Ben Ban, which uh, other social business are, are we going to consider? Because as far as I understood, we have to like uh, compare two, two businesses, right? You're on mute. Thank you. I think that we have to choose like any any company, any brand. I understand it. And then you have to compare. Yes. The yeah. idea is whatever company, if you have the and how they scale to find a, a social is a good thing, but it's not whatever. Okay. You can use whatever company. And uh, I don't know what what do you think? Maybe the bang bang is the good one to compare, maybe. Yeah, yes, you know, I was looking for some information, but I can find it. Hey Fernando. Hi teacher. Good evening. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> but I'm here. Okay. Don't worry. It's just that Luis was along here and I think he got he got tired of waiting. Yeah, yeah. I I was talking with with him in, in the main session. Oh, okay. 
don't worry, I just sent him the invitation, the invitation. to okay. join us here. Okay, he, he explained he me about the, the about the homework. Yeah, it's it's not homework, it's just a um a presentation you need to prepare right now with um the instructions on page twenty six on your workbook. Sorry, Steve, you were along here for a while, but don't worry. We have Fernando here so he can collaborate with you and work on this mission, okay? Okay, no problem. Thank, thank okay. you for your patience. Okay, okay, Steve. And so we need to to find... So it's the same. <laughs> Airbnb, <laughs> there is the same. <laughs> they yeah. have apart buildings of apartments exclusively only to rent for Airbnb. And they are like uh, 20, 100 meters to the to the beach. It's just like a block or something like that for security. Mm -hmm. But they are, I guess these people is get used to got all type of uh, tourists. Mm -hmm. yes, so they are well prepared. We can talk about how they scale. I don't know how they started. I don't know, it was your group talking yesterday about how they... Yeah, I have. Yeah. Um, wait. Give me a sec. Okay. Well, I will share it. One picture. Let's see if I can share this. Harbor. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they did to um, harbor to harbor so much people. Harbor. Albergar. I'm going to write it down. Harbor. <laughs> yeah, I didn't remember how to say that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, check the chat. Uh huh. Let's see. Just give me a second. I need to join in a minute. You know, just give me a second. I will back as soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey. I am I blind or this is so tiny? Do you see it, William? <laughs> No, maybe not too often. Ah, it's 22%. Okay. Yeah. I made that zoom out. Mm. Now you can see well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But so we need to explain how uh, they scale. Mm -hmm. uh, um, So I think that they get well reading this information that Jose has shared. So they scale because of the online marketplace. Uh, they show up. Or they decide to, yes, yeah, show or post the options on a way that anybody can access through online. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they grew, yeah, because of the I guess it's the same that the pictures, right? Oh, yes, it's the same. <gasps> okay. 
And were you working together yesterday with Jose William? No. Mm. Yeah, I guess. If you, yeah. if you had the presentation for yesterday, we can just uh, add. No. no. They sent just uh, the, the same photo to me. Uh, oh, this is what you presented yesterday? Yeah, it, it was. Okay. So we need to write in some something because they scaled using the online and there is um so summarizing the story of the business it will be that picture that we have right there uh, the variables that the founders Consider to design um, varieties. Let's see if we can find something else. Airbnb. How Airbnb scale? I think that they scale because the customer uh, or, or the the host had the opportunity to to express or made a I have to name a review made a review uh, on the about the experience and those reviews cannot be change or delete it for the owner of the place and mm -hmm. it's like um the it is the way how the the owner for the airbnb can hear like a feedback uh, that would be like the same when you send a survey for a service or something like that. So at fear hands, the, the host has the ability or the way, the possibility to like the power to express and write a review about the experience and they can also recommend. So that is uh, another important thing because um the word of mouth i guess that is the name the word of mouth uh, is um is uh, do believe do believe uh, when you hear someone or you read someone uh, about that place or if you're looking information the first things you do is to go and look for the reviews mm. I guess that will be the the best way to express how they scale. I don't know what you think. Yes, I'm I'm searching, I'm reading right now. Mm -hmm. uh, generate document.
Mm, the beneficiaries of this process with Airbnb, I guess, it, there were both of them. Let's see. I will send you to mm -hmm. Mm. So the the answering the question that is uh when did the scaling happen? Uh huh, I think it, it, uh -huh. can, it that will be. be, yeah. When the mm -hmm. scaling happens, mm -hmm. uh, okay. in Republic Dominican, it's amazing how a lot of people live of that because there are cleaning companies that employs a lot of people. A people to and that they, they 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 sell uh, furniture to how to, to say that <laughs> I don't know how to say they sell this they sell by by mail send by mail and you uh, on scramble, why is the need to structure the, the furniture? You need to fix. Yeah, but at the beginning, they, they when the company starts, uh, I I was reading about about the history, and they well, well the kid start with a whole different idea. The furniture comes later 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 but i share you the a link with the history okay. mm -hmm. you can read a little bit about that I say one ninety eighty one. So the bunny.
Um, I found like a timeline for IKEA, but I cannot send you the link because I'm watching it on my not so good working computer. So, and I am on the meeting room, but, oh, here's Mr. Linares. Hello, Mr. Linares. No, sorry. No, to Mr. Linares. Ah. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, would you be so kind as to assign my 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 other uh device to this meeting, please? Right so now. I can. Thank you. Sure. So now I can send you the link I found with the timeline. Uh, maybe from that we can uh, we can uh, make like a timeline and consider I'm sorry, not being so helpful because I my eyes hurt. I I, <laughs> I keep it closed. That's okay, David. Don't worry. I only listen. What are you saying?
de host uh -huh. eh, de What's the, uh, the mission? Mission, social business mission. Um, nutrition being, uh, but social mission is like what do what do we do? What do we do? Mm -hmm. Okay, and and who are you benefiting with your company? Uh, farmers. We yeah, that's your social mission. Ah, or vision. Mm. No, it's it's a uh, okay. We are working about uh NGO, call it Semilla Nueva. Oh, okay. So that's uh, the the goal is benef benefits farmers, mm -hmm. uh, because but uh. Beyond that, the 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 problem that they they want to attack is malnutrition. Okay. For Provide, providing corn seeds for farmers. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. They develop better corn seeds to fight malnutrition, poverty, and climate. Climate, climate, vulnerability, vulnerability. Okay, we can change what do we do for social business mission. Mm -hmm. We use this like a social business mission as a social business mission. As a social business mission, correct. Okay. I change the <clears throat> the title social business mission. Okay, business mission. When we we start with a verb and maybe develop development or develop only develop or develop develop better current seals. Mm -hmm. Okay, develop. And the next use. The beneficiaries. So the nutrition work on. But who we are, our team, or board of partners. So, yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it can be, it can be the better, better corn seeds uh, to find malnutrition, etc. And the second, use the market to go then to the farm uh, and so on. We make and the last one is make, make this program scalable. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you need representative samples? Okay, next. Beneficiaries, beneficiaries, beneficiaries. Beneficiaries, okay. Beneficiaries. Beneficiaries um, or mm -mm -mm. or story. Or work, what we what do we do? Where do we work? Nutrition, yeah, I, I, livelihood. We yeah. saw beneficiaries some minutes ago, right? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me our story. 
uh, for for example, the study of the new the new laboratory. Let me see. Mm -hmm. No. Sorry. Sorry, my, my, my computer is, is very slow with some. Mm -hmm. And how uh, the the impact the impact yeah I got it the impact oh in in the at the end of the in the footer of the websites uh, they have our impact. Ah, okay, okay. And they have a a table with with or data that. about about different years. rigorous monitoring and evaluation is the most important way to ensure that we are improving the nutrition and increasing the incomes of the farming families that we serve. We our impact. We believe that the major reason why many of the world international development for hot fall ensure is the lack of focus in rigorous oh okay. How we measure impact? Step one, farmers. Step one, farmers. Yes. Step yes. two, nutrition. Nutrition and step three, income. Step three, income. Step, step four, population. Four populational impact. inputs. How many tortillas? Uh -huh. <laughs> step five, radical, radical transparency. transparency. And that's all. Mm -hmm. And in the in the graph, they had. They had uh, data with how many farmers planting berry corn seeds. So in 2021, uh, the farmer was over 12,000. Yes, there are. Uh... Okay, let me see. Farmer planting very core 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the, the one Seria beneficiaries. Bene, beneficiaries. <laughs> How do you Benefic pronounce beneficiaries? I'm going to the correct pronunciation. Look for. Mm -hmm.
Okay, only only we can we can use two two stats maybe farmers and nutritional impacts. What was the IKEA idea? Swedish companies, IKEA. Uh, hello, Liana. I just sent you some information regarding the unbalanced account. Um, some key points that I see that are like uh, similar is that they sell an opportunity and they took it as well as um, being innovative because they, they say incorporation of new formulations in order to increase their productivity and reduce time and costs. Is that a, a point of transition in IKEA? I'm sorry? I put in the chat uh, the transition of IKEA in 1980. 1948, he sell he sell uh, frames, he sell nylon stockings. And in 1951, began to offer only home furnishings. At that time was the transition of IKEA. Which year? 1948. And it's like the same. 1948. 1948. It's the same of.
No, Ana Claudia. No puedo porque mi compu, como está nueva, no me había dado cuenta que en el paquete de Microsoft tiene. Ajá, que eso es lo que me pasa a mí. Ajá. I don't have Pero voy a intentar, tal vez lo puedo hacer en, en línea. Ah, José Wilfredo was talking. Ok. No worries. Pues eso estaba buscando yo, pero no sé en cuál es. <laughs> well, look at the time we are right now. It's almost 10. I'm sleeping. Ana Claudia, we can see everything that you're sharing. I'm sorry. Your password in your back account. No, no. <gasps> password share. Okay, are, are you ready? Yeah, teacher. Did you but finish? We, uh -huh. we don't have a presentation, but we have the, the, the information. information. Okay. Like a list, uh huh. We don't, we were trying we don't to have find the Microsoft. Okay. Let me see how the other groups are doing it so you can come to the front, maybe. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, because it's almost time. Uh huh. William, in the last part. Okay. How are you doing? We're doing great, but it's taking time, teacher. It's a lot of information, right? Right. And and we we're trying to like to really understand the history of the company that we want that, that what's we the chose. company? Uh, the company that we chose. You said that could be any company, right? Any company. Mm -hmm. We chose IKEA. IKEA. Okay. Yeah, the story is very, very interesting and oh. yeah, and very long, but we were trying to to resume that to resume the, the whole the information. History. Okay. And we are trying to to make that match, uh, or we are trying to compare mm -hmm. that with Bamban. Remember that it's important to point out the the obstacles, right? If they had any obstacles to go through to 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 scale the company. Okay, good job. Keep keep going. Then let's finish the class that way. You know, everybody's working on their projects, honestly. So, good job. Okay. Okay, were you able to find something? Yeah, we have yeah. the only barriers. Miss. Barriers to scale. Okay. Barriers to scale. Okay, but you're preparing the presentation, I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm letting everybody know that we're going to finish this way because everybody's working on their projects. So it's okay. Okay, keep going uh, so we can present it tomorrow. Okay? Okay. 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 We're almost okay. done. Teacher, 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 teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in what, what part of the class we, we will present in this? I'll I'll make you some time so we can do this on the second hour. Uh, yes, please. My, tomorrow I uh, I had to go to the office and, you know, when I go to the office, I join in late because in the buses, it's hard but for the noise. The connection is bad, you know. Yeah, we don't know if it, it's going to be raining. It's just uh, yeah. even worse. I understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, did you think? Okay. In... Ice cream in the same places, like in parks. We're, in we're just going to have to wait for your classmates because they're still working on their presentations. The other two groups are still working, so let's just stay here. If you haven't planned the the presentation, that will be good. If you could plan it, you know, like what things you can include on in the presentation tomorrow. That is what we are talking about. Uh -huh. And and we're gonna do this uh presentation on the second hour tomorrow. Oh okay. 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 Hey teacher, we didn't take a look at the platform issue. Oh, yeah. Hey, here That's it true. is. I got it open. Let, hey, open it, open it. Yeah. Okay. Eh, 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 where is it? Where is it? Oh my God. Would you stay with me 10 minutes, Claudia? 
Me? Yeah. Do you have time? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why again? I I was with you last last week. Ah, uh, I know, but it's a very small group, so. Okay. We okay. can, yeah. Can no, but if you don't, if I don't like you, that's okay. I understand it. <laughs> no, it's not. What <laughs> happened is that immediately uh, ending the class, mm -hmm. I had to make a phone call to my cousin in the U.S. So she need. She's waiting for my call. She could wait ten minutes. We can <laughs> William, call. Him. You can stay. You can stay. We can I call him ten. I mean, together if you want. It's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Teacher, do you see my screen? In English. Reading. Yeah, I see your screen now. Okay. What section is it? Uh, this is the 3.5. It's supposed we need to complete until today the all the part number three, right? Or not? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay. Yeah. So you see, these are the answers I'm getting. Lo siento, no se puede analizar la forma. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, section three. 3.5. Yeah. 3.5. Let's see. Uh, let me see your answers. Chad, early, comma. Steve Chen, and there's an error. Uh -huh. There's no space between characters. And you need to add the number one, then a period. So it's like one period, chat one early, comma. I mean, period? there's. Uh -huh. Let me paste it here. Okay. Like that. Bad. It's all together without spaces between Chad and Hurley. Where that number one came from? Allow me one second, please. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. And there is no period at the end, he said, right? Ana Claudia, este, si quiere, envíeme la información al WhatsApp. Así creo la presentación. Híjole, espérate que no ha abierto WhatsApp aquí vos. Sí, porque aquí yo estoy intentando pegarle y no, y no, no la puedo sacar del teléfono. Copiarla, intento, no puedo. Lo que mandó Ana Claudia. Sí, uh -huh. vos se la puedes mandar por WhatsApp. Es que yo tengo... Déjame ver ahorita. Yo no tengo WhatsApp. A ver. Lo último que dice Social Business, esas son las respuestas. Sorry. <risa> ok. Ok, Richard. so... Uh -huh. I copy and paste what you wrote right there, not put it at the end, right? Yeah, just the way I texted it to you right in here. Okay. But in the second one, YouTube, I just wrote YouTube. Uh, no spaces and no capitals, just the first one is a capital letter. Okay. Mm -hmm. YouTube? Yeah, but put it together. Oh my God, but it's not together yet. And it's Joe, yeah, Joe Tube. Mm -hmm. Y O U T U B. No period, right? no period. Okay, the second one. The third one. The, the third one, I'm sorry. That they graduated from college or college. I mean, you can do that. No, please copy and paste because, because I wrote that. They graduated from college, but it didn't work. Uh, let me just. And you have 2005, just a year. Yeah. And the, but the, also with the year, it was saying the error. Just let me share. Uh, I grew up February. It's just 2005. But you see? Mm -hmm. And then let's see. Let me try in front of your eyes. That... You see, the last, the last answer is without capitals. It's just from advertising or... Albert, I'll, that's misspelled. And okay. Albert. I'm writing down everything as you said it and look at this. Lo siento, no se analizar la fórmula. What? Yeah. Do you have your yours open, eh, William? So can confirm that. No, I'm trying. This don't, is don't worry. Don't worry. It's just an error on the platform. I'll go ahead and report it again. Um, because for I, you, I, re I, I reported it and they and I didn't check the answers by myself. 
just click and check check it by yourself and let's see if that works they mm. graduated from college i got it correct there is no period right 2005 okay no from advertising oh can i write from advertising or just advertising don't don't worry it won't work uh, no, it's not it working. won't work no not at all i'm getting a whole bunch of letters on the responses exactly staff okay. debug information trace back most recent call last yeah there, there's a whole bunch of errors ah, okay. so don't, don't worry i have reported it already okay okay thank you it's present open. teacher and good night i know <laughs> <laughs> hey jose wilfredo the teacher wants someone to stay 10 minutes can you today because i cannot today yeah we probably has never stayed Hello. he's at work Hello. yes yeah, you can stay 10 work. minutes right he's working don't worry don't worry You know, something that I love, I love about this group is that you really put a lot of effort when you work together and try to do the best you can. And that's really good. Um, that's really good. And I hope you are the same way at your job, you know, and in your personal life. That's, that's very important. There's no perfection. Perfection is just an illusion that works. Illusion. following <laughs> this is my saying i'll text it to you on whatsapp later because it's a little <laughs> long but it's it has helped me a lot through life okay so i'll do the the um the list the attendance and tomorrow on the second hour you will have your chances to uh do the exposition so you can polish the presentation if you want and that's very important for this topic so okay i'm staying with anna claudia again Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Good night, teacher, and bye bye. I'm sorry, can I stay today? Maybe one of my colleagues. I got my. Okay, who can stay? I mean, it's okay. Just ten minutes. Uh, you know what, Ileana? I haven't tried my new technique, so I don't know. You had ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you see. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa, say hello to your cousin. Present teacher, good night. Good night, David. Hope you get better. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. She she left, I think. Yeah. Well, she was here. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good night. Gracias, Elizabeth Diaz Vasquez. Present. Good night. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. He was here as well. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Miguel Brown Mejia, Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher, night night. Night night. Oh. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. <laughs> Good night teacher. Good night. Oh my God, Wendy, Wendy left already. Okay. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. See you. See you. Oh my God, parenting. Parenting is so difficult. I have a very hyper kid and I think, I don't know what I'm paying. Well, I know I have an idea of what I'm paying with him. <laughs> it's just like me, you know, but he's more 
hyper than I was. The you was. Yeah. You yeah. were. I was, I was, I was very hyper when I was a kid of his age, he's 11 right now, and I know things will get even worse later, and sometimes we explode, you know, and we can take it anymore, and that just happened, but the problem is that I'm with these things on my head, on my ears, and, and, and I was scared, you know, I heard the noise, and it was like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Hey that. Okay, so I've been implementing one thing here on this. I'm going to do karaoke. Yay. <laughs> it's something similar actually. When you go to interviews, no matter where you go, even without the interviewer having experience, they use something called brain teasers. An idea. Mm -hmm. And that's to take you out of your comfort zone. Because it's a very common trend in humans to look for a comfort zone or try to drive a, a conversation into a more comfortable topic. Well, unconsciously, you are already trying to guide things to a more, I don't know, more easy stuff, you know, on the conversation soften the conversation or something that you may enjoy even more so an interview uh, an interviewer with experience or not experience may change the topic to something that you don't know in order to make you tumble you know and hesitate so that's a very good exercise and that's what we're going to do i'm just going to give you topics so you can have 30 seconds um without stopping you know you just have to talk 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 and focus on that. Okay. So there's your 30 seconds. I'll just say uh, the topic and you can talk about it nonstop. Ready? No, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was born ready. Okay. I was born ready. Okay. The first topic that I would like to hear from you is the beach. Talk to me about the beach three two one go for me the beach is like one of my favorite places to visit to stay and to just to spend the time with family friends i like to to watch the the sunsets they gave me um, a kind of peace when i saw them um when i'm on the beach at the beach, uh, I try to disconnect from the world. I try to, to not to, to. <laughs> Good <laughs> job. <laughs> Good job. Just one area of improvement here will be. Mm -hmm. What? What, what, what? <laughs> they gave me kind of peace when I saw them. Yeah, the sunsets. <laughs> uh -huh, the sunsets. <laughs> Uh -huh. but you're you're not talking in past. Ah, uh, they give me. Give yeah. me exactly. They, they give, give me kind of peace when I see them. When I see them, mm -hmm. you know. When I, you know, I when I when I was just talking, mm -hmm. I just imagine that when I saw the sunsets, maybe. Maybe for the reason. Oh, you remember the time myself. of your life that was very special yeah, with a special yeah. someone. Oh my god! I know with my family, <laughs> my friends. I had a friend who used to who used to play with me that way all the time. You know, oh, and you were kissing, and you were oh my god, <laughs> such a child. You know, that's what I was. I used to tell her, okay, good job. See, it's not difficult. And this helps your creativity a lot. So let, let's go with the next topic. Uh, huh. Pets. Pets. Oh, I love pets. I love dogs. Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> okay, I love pets. I love dogs. Uh, when I was a kid, I had a one, two, yeah, like two, two, two dogs with my siblings, but we, when, when our last 
dog died. We just think that we we don't we don't want to have a dog anymore because it was awful. The feeling when you lost that. Hmm. Finish the idea. <laughs> the feeling when you lost that that body, you know, is I I don't want to feel that. I don't want to to feel mm -hmm. in that way. You you don't want to feel yeah. that way. You don't want to feel that way. That way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you lose uh, that feeling, when you lose a when body, <laughs> a good body. Okay. A hey, good job. Not too many people use this word, and I use it perfectly. Good job. Awful, because it was awful. I don't know if you said it very soft, but yeah, you need the subject here. Because it was awful. But it was awful. But it was. But it was awful. Repeat. Because, because it was awful. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yes, because it was awful. Because, because it, was, it awful. was. Because it was awful. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Huh. Let me get inspiration here. Music. Music. <laughs> okay, let's go with music then. <laughs> let's go with your comfort zone. Three, two, one, go. I love music. I sing when I am, when I'm in the car, when I, I don't know, when I'm taking a shower, I sing. When I'm alone in the house, I sing. When I'm with friends, I sing. I love karaoke. I love, love, love karaoke. And I don't feel shame when I perform in front of many, many people. I like it. I really enjoy it. I love music, pop music. I love, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, just one thing. Um, she got stuck on I like I like. What kind of music do you like? Music, pop music. <laughs> pop music, okay. Uh, okay, the music, pop music. Even if you mention the kind of music, the, oh, how do you call this? Gender, gender of music. Uh, this is not so specific. So I like music pop. I mean, like pop music. I'm sorry, I like mu pop music. You don't even need to mention music, you know. I like pop. I love pop. Okay. Unless someone say, you know, pop. What? What's that? What's pop? Pop music. Pop music. Have you heard pop music? Okay. Then the article go disappears. Really, just pop. My favorite. Yeah. When was the last time you went to a karaoke? Oh, a very long time ago. Uh Here I in, was... in San Salvador. Yeah, the 4020, correct? Oh my god, I always wanted to go there. I participate. Yeah, I participated in a in a contest. In a contest uh do contest? Years ago. Yeah, we have to sing just national we have to choose just uh, one <laughs> national song. And I chose um You're chosen? I chose a song <laughs> of this uh girl uh Hafet Jerez. She performed in the Numero, uh, Numero Uno program. And then she moved to Costa Rica, I think, because mm -hmm. she didn't get the, the enough. Uh, they did, she didn't, she was not supported in El Salvador. Yeah, yeah. She so didn't she get support. Mm -hmm. to what, what was the song? Um, oh my God. The song is called, the name of the song is, Annette Jerez? Hafet. 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 Oh, yeah, Hafet. I don't know how people said is, is Hafet or Jafet. The name of the song is. Oh my God. Orenia? Orenia? Really? And actually, I, I, I have to tell you this. When I was, when, well, I, I, uh, at the end of the of the song, uh, well, of the con the contest, and the judges, uh, they we had three judges: a pianist, a professional pianist from El Salvador, a singer, 
one of the most maybe kind of popular singer here in El Salvador. And a uh, music uh, teacher, a teacher, yeah, a teacher. A musical teacher. A teacher. A music teacher. Okay. They they just he stayed in in the position and here and saw the, the the your performance and at the end they gave you a punctuation. Mm -hmm. I got twenty five percent of hundred percent, and I won. <gasps> How long ago was that? Uh, in 2000, 2019, like before the no. pandemic. No, I had a boy. I had boy uh, boyfriend in that that time. <laughs> okay. Um, was in two thousand sixteen, I think. Wow. Really? Yeah. I always wanted to go to Quarantivente. I don't know if that is still. Yeah. Exists. I mean, I think it's the most popular place to i like to sing music like journey you know all these if i were to choose a national band i would have chosen um as brava de sonido maybe ah, no no there's another one but yeah yeah there are good bands good songs actually from my time <laughs> yeah. i like you you are not I, I play older i play with um this guy's red. Really? I mean, uh, two of the uh, guys playing their arts from Santana, and they started at INSA, the Instituto Nacional de Santana. So we used to play, you know, we started a band, but then I moved to San Salvador and they moved on and they made the band. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Ivan, Ivan, the one that plays the, the, the bass. He's very nice, actually. He was my leader on on the the, the scouts, on the scouts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Ronnie, his brother, used to be on the band too. I was, I mean, it's a long story, but I'm very happy for them because it's a great band. I like their music. Yeah, they they have great music. Yeah. Well, thank you for staying. You have very good English. I, I really admire that. You know, you're. One of the few that really speak a lot, and that's very appreciated nowadays. So you're very close to graduate. You will make yeah. it very with honors, okay? Yeah, I already uh, sent. Well, I I hope that the my my company already sent the papers for the next model that is to prepare us for the TOEFL. TOEFL? Did you yeah. get the information already? Yeah. Could you resend it to me because I I didn't get it. And I want to know about it. <laughs> you 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 help in that? In no, that? no, no, no. I don't help in that. Uh, but I need to. I need the TOEFL paper. I need the TOEFL paper for uh, another thing. So okay. I may I, I may be your classmate. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you for staying, Liana. Hope you have a wonderful um, night. My pleasure, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye.